my listeners know I made a video like six months ago talking about why I stopped watching porn and why I think it's bad for society and stuff like that. So if you guys care to see that, like, just later when the podcast is over, look up Pranzata, why I stopped watching porn or whatever. Um, but uh, just so I don't get into a longer conversation about that, I decided to wa- to stop watching it for myself because I thought it would be like better for myself and better for society. And yeah, like exactly what you said, at first when you do it, you're just so used to the other thing that at first when you start using your imagination, you just start imagining like porn you've watched. Like that's how it starts. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I can't even like remember a lot of like, like I would try to like harness like, like sex that I'd had. And I'd yeah. be like thinking of porn and so, like I watched so much porn that it was like, yeah. it, like overtook like my actual sex life. Like it, it like had like even like a bigger impact to my subconscious than my actual sex it's not good low key too side note i started thinking about this because i've been doing a lot of like thinking about ai and like the future of ai i think that sex is going to slowly become evolved out of the human species i really think so i could be getting ahead of myself but i really maybe not in your lifetime but i like i i never thought of this but i do think that pornography is just the beginning of that because it's replacing real intimacy and you're hearing more and more now about how people aren't really like procreating anymore people aren't having kids anymore i really think that like sex robots or the next, like, the next step after pornography. Like, I think pornography is like, ah, we're still f***ing, but, like, let's have a little fun. I feel like the next, like, generation, like, not now necessarily, but maybe, like, 20 years down the road, it's going to be, like, a lot of people are going to be so hooked to, like, AI, like, porn, or, like, virtual reality porn, that they're probably not even going to pursue actual women. Well, they're already really, doing that in, in I know. China. In, in fact, China. They got the milking factories. Really? They're trying to bolster their, they had a population decrease and the opposite problem that they had had before. And now they're trying to have more kids. So like, but people are having less sex over there because I, people are having less sex everywhere because porn. who do you think is paying for porn? Nobody pays. For, have you ever paid for porn? I have before. I have How, before. Much? How much money? Um, in your life? Not a lot, not a lot, not a lot, but I have. Yeah. There's not that many people paying that much money for porn. So who's paying for it? It's obviously the government. I don't know if I agree with that. Government is subsidizing porn. I'm just kidding. Uh, I I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know if I agree with the idea that nobody's paying for it. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, of course. People are paying for it, but... There is an interesting thought to like, I mean, I was just kidding, but no, 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 I, yeah, who is, I mean, there is a a large amount of porn that gets made and nobody's paying for it. I imagine it's just like Nepo bait. Like if I was a Nepo baby and I had a Mm. big dick, I would start like a huge porn company and just like have my parents finance it. (laughs) <laughs> and then just be like all right well this was not profitable because people lose businesses all the time yeah like especially in new york city like all these fucking tech startups and shit it's yeah, all like yeah. babies with just their parents money who just like started something yeah it's like why the fuck wouldn't you start a porn operation with that money like yeah. you're gonna lose the money yeah. just lose it fucking like the best women in the world like the best <laughs> in the world yeah. you know yeah, no, but I like going back to what we were saying before. I really do think that like this is the beginning of. S- I think they're gonna chemically, uh, they're gonna artificially engineer human beings. Chemically, and, chemically and castrate the, us? No, not chemically castrate. I just think they're gonna be artificially creating human beings, and there's gonna be no need for sex anymore. I really think that's. I hope so. Honestly, I made that face earlier, but like, I think I'm done with sex by forty to be honest with you really i'm just over like i don't think i'm ever gonna get married and i'm sick of like meaningless sex and i just can't find somebody that i'm like passionate about like it's been years since i've had like really like passionate like sex i've just had a lot of like meaningless sex 
And I'm just so like, if, unless I get married, yeah, I think like 40s is it. I'm just like done. But I think that's like the whole draw to like procreating is like, like you just said, getting over that hump of just like hooking up with people and having meaningless sex and finding a person that you actually care enough about to like dedicate a lifetime of that type of intimacy with. I think like that's what creates families. And like I said, because of all the porn that's out there, I feel like that's distracting people from having the desire to even like, why would you bother to approach an actual woman in real life? If you can get all your needs met instantly, 